We're going to keep breaking down all of this uh, with French politics expert Ariane Bougain, who joins me now live. Ariane, thanks so much for taking the time to speak to us. Uh, Good afternoon. Uh, what are your feelings about uh, what, what Clovis was just saying? I, I mean, how controversial is this bill? What for you are really the touch points? Well, it's controversial because it's a it's a it's a right wing law. It's the law. It's not at all the law that the government wanted to do. It's uh, it's a text from the Senate. It reminds me of past immigration law, like the Pasqua law in uh, 1993. Uh, and a lot of it is about uh, social benefits and restricting social benefits. But I, I would say that on even more than specific points, it is about uh, what we have seen in many European countries, which is the securitization of, migra of migrants that are seen as a source of danger, as a source of risk. And it's, it's you know, it, it, it's a law that is trying to deter uh, people from coming in, making life of those who are already in France more difficult and uh, facilitating uh, uh, um, their, their expulsion. So... It originally it was supposed to be counterbalanced by, you know, more uh, positive, uh, so to speak, uh, aspects. But it's been so hardened that a lot of people yesterday uh, from uh, Macron's party decided to vote against it or uh, to abstain. Indeed. And now it seems like Macron's government is trying to backpedal almost, if you like, by sending yeah. this bill now to the Constitutional Council. Now, this is sort of complicated, so just yeah. make it very simple if you can. What are they hoping will come out of this Constitutional Council? Well, the, the Constitutional Council is there to uh, check that any law that is passed by Parliament uh, respect the Constitution and within the Constitution, uh, the Declaration of Human Rights. So what the government is hoping for is that some of the most contentious aspects, in particular on uh, accessing benefits, will be struck down by uh, the Constitutional Council. The problem I have with this is it's very messy because effectively the government pushed through a text knowing that some of its aspects, uh, are, some, some, sorry, some of its aspects are likely to be illegal. So they're trying to backtrack in that way, but it really gives the impression that that, you know, that the government was willing to do something illegal to push through the text, hoping that the council will come to their rescue. So we'll see what the council uh, will say. It has a month to, to decide. I don't know how, uh, how quickly they're going to reach the decision. But some, some of the uh, aspects, especially social benefits and also the idea of quotas, might be struck down. So we might end up with a law that is different from the one that was um, voted on uh, last night. Ariane, just to wrap up, how big a victory is this for the far-right politician Marine Le Pen? Just to remind everyone again, Marine Le Pen, who lost to Emmanuel yep. Macron in the presidential election. She's obviously looking three years down the road for the next presidential election. Mm -hmm. Is this going to help her? Definitely. I mean, she she's probably very delighted today because because she voted for it. So if she was in power, she she would go much, much further than this. But this law is further normalization of a main theories and a main ideas. So she's always talked about national preference, for example. And in the text, it's not full national preference. So it's a weakened version. But, uh, you know, we have welfare chauvinism. She's always talked about uh, um, forbidding um, nationality, French nationality, through being born on French soil. This has not gone, but it's now restricted. So what this text is, is a weakened version of what she would do. And research has shown that when mainstream parties uh, adopt far-right theories and ideas, albeit in a weakened way, the, the support more often than not, tends to go for the, to, to the far right because it normalizes what they've been saying. So, yeah, she will be very delighted with what happened uh, yesterday. All right, Ariane, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us. Uh, Ariane Bougain from Northumbria University. Thank you.